Welcome back sports gamers, it's The Natural. Many of you've just gotten Madden 18 for Christmas and also those who just gotten the game for the first time. Once you load it up, it will tell you it's downloaded and installed and you'll come to the screen, you'll see everything is locked. You can't get into anything uh, besides the initial play now game that loaded up. When people are saying, man, my game is broken. What's going on? The problem is the game is not finished downloading. Even though it says it's downloaded, even though it says install, it's still downloading in the background. So what you really have to do is really wait more than anything. But the problem is uh, with the PS4 especially, things are so slow, it takes forever for it to finish downloading. So the biggest thing I can say right now is you want to go wired. You want to do a wired connection and that's going to help you on PS4 and Xbox. A lot of people, even I would say most are on wireless. So See, see if you can get a running cable to your PS4, Xbox, or but what I can really do is how do I speed up that download? One of the main things you can do to speed up a download is setting up a proxy. I'm going to show you how to do that uh, for the PS4 console because um, that's how I set up on mine. It's going to increase your downloads by tenfold. It's so much uh, faster. Uh, so what you want to do is go ahead and download the Analog X proxy you can search for that it's easy to find and you want to download that um that's what i have set up on mine i had the same issues before when i was working on the um some ps4 lag fixes things of that nature with the ps4 downloads being so slow the uh setting the proxy really made a big difference so once you have it downloaded um and download to wherever you want to the desktop or whatever um uh you want make sure it's run as administrator you want to execute the program uh that, that you downloaded and it's a very small program it doesn't take up little to no resources anything like that um, so that's downloads and then you want to install that uh, just follow the simple prompts install it express installation that's fine and that's gonna finish pretty quickly because it's a tiny 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 program um, you don't need to view documentation anything like that um, and once that's uh, downloads you want to go ahead and run it uh, the executable you can run it from the start menu or from the program file doesn't really matter um, just go ahead and, and run the uh, the software and once you run that it's gonna pop up um, and you're not gonna need to do really do anything at all uh, with it as far as like configuration anything like that this is basically just to set your computer as a proxy uh, and you want to make sure you allow it through the firewall once you run it you uh, Windows might prompt you for that you're gonna see this message here doesn't just ignore that and click OK and that's gonna pop up there um, at the bottom of the, the corner of your screen you want to do configure all you want to do is make sure that HTTP is on that's really the only step you want to do there and that's it it's simple that's just that's set up that that's the whole finish set your uh, your PC as a proxy then you want to go into your network settings um, and you want for this step you need to know what your computer IP address is and that's easy you can just go to command ip configure all find that out once you have your computer ip address you want to go through these steps here and you want to go through use proxy server and in this portion you're going to put in your ip address for your computer uh, i'm just going to put my ip address and again I'll, I'll include something as well just uh on the screen to show you guys exactly um how, how to get your, your your IP address it's very simple to get that um, if you're not really if you're not like too computer savvy a lot of this might be a little over your head but hopefully this instructions helps so I have my IP address in there as well and you want to delete out that 8080 and then you want to put in it's gonna be same for everyone 6588 for the port number gonna go to next and then test internet connection I have a wire connection so it's pretty good um, but you can do this with wireless but I would suggest wire is gonna be much much faster and that completes it right there and then you just go back into basically Madden um, and now for the PS4 what you want to do it downloads way faster when you put it to sleep so make sure you have your background downloads enabled everything and then just put your ps4 to sleep it'll download faster in the background with that uh, once it's complete which you uh, you'll see things will everything will unlock all the game modes will unlock and you can get into everything uh, as like, like normal and play all the game modes no issue uh, so hopefully this video helped you guys um, you know just really it's more of a weight thing I know it, I'm just trying to 
make it easier and make things download faster. It's all you can really do um, to make this. There's really nothing else. There's no trick. There's no secret to it. That's it. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed the video. If you did uh, like the video, drop a like. And if you love our content here at SEO, make sure you subscribe for more to, more Madden 18 and tips and everything from your favorite sports games. This is The Natural. I'm out. Thank you.